Hey what's up everyone how you all so I'm back with 10 advices for blender users that you might don't know tip number 1 whenever you are trying to download an object or trying to export an object you will have multiple options right which option you want to file in always try to use gltf or glb if you want it but gltf works best you will have no issue importing a gltf in blender with textures with animation and with bones all imported automatically when you're trying to import the file just go to import and use gltf and choose the path my path was animate butterflies so like i've animated i've imported this butterfly let me go to render preview it is also it is also animated and it also have bones and materials everything applied by itself automatically how good it is FBS also does that but FBS sometimes messed with blender tip number 2 tip number 2 is let's import that camera use camera here it is control alt 0 it will drag the camera to the viewport but this is not the tip the tip is if you want to if you want the camera to draw forward towards the object towards the face it is facing like the camera is not in my particular direction like if i press g and go to y axis it's not drawing towards the object neither with x or z axis so what you have to do is press g and put and click double z double times g and z double times and as you can see the camera is drawing towards the object towards where it is facing it's super simple but it is quite useful so tip number 3 use shadow texture create a plan draw hair and in visibility section you will see shadow texture all the shadow or which this object creates is now captured using this plan and it can it can also capture fractions which is very important if you are creating a realistic video merge like cgi or something it is quite easy and simple and you will have reflections too and it's quite easy as i said tip number 4 if you are creating cgi use backgrounds to the camera light real backgrounds light i've selected this camera and i can go over here and use background image add image open and you can choose any background light which it will end up for example here let me just hide this one oh you you will see more examples on the screen now and yeah it's right handy you will have background tip number 5 if i select everything from here this layer will be selected so i will know what this layer is but if i do the opposite if i select this the object won't be selected from the outliner if i select this from the outliner the object won't be selected so to select this object from the outliners <laughs> click on it and click on right click select hierarchy now the object from the viewport is now selected or you can also like if you delete this the object won't be deleted but if you right click and delete hierarchy the object will be deleted tip number 6 is select object like if i want to see what this object is in outliner how will i do that so that keyboard shortcut to is is this button if like select the object from the viewport and press this button and show activity and this is the activity which means to show outliner it will show the outliner oh, you know what i mean if you want to select this object in the outliner you can press this button right press this button and here is object then click this it's easy tip number 7 like let me create an object a cube let's pose if i want my cube to have this material how will i do that i can do like this and draw hair and veins or i can just select the object i want the material to and the select then select the object i want the material from and then press control l and link the material it will link the material and you can also link animation and stuff with it like animation data for give animation to this object like why this is the animation and press this object and this select this object and press control l and animation data as you can see it is linked it has linked the animation data from 
this object to this object it sounds complex but it will basically do any of these things from this object to this object it could be it could be anything like it could be object data instances collections modifiers you can copy modifiers uv uv maps and many things control plus l quite handy number eight you can write click on anything and add it to tweet favorite right from this like this frame rate option or anything now you can just press q and you have out all the options i can change frame rate from anywhere like if i'm doing this q and change frame rate you can also right click on anything and add tweet shortcut for anything tip number nine if you are like me and you had uv project uv unwrapping then you can do this like you can go to a perspective like from this perspective i want a certain image to fill this area of the cube so now you can go to uv unwrapping and go to that that area like let's choose top and go to uv and view from this projection now you, you can see in uv editor we have that perspective only so now if i go to shading tab jet and drag any of the image here and connect it to base color my top view is perfectly uv unwrapped it will mess up the other perspectives but that certain perspective will look great tip number 10 so if you want multiple cameras on your timeline like let's animate this camera like the hair i can see so from 40 48 frame i want different camera different preview how can i do that so you can simply attach the camera to the timeline with ctrl plus b while your person being on the timeline and add another camera like shift a camera like this is a setting camera and while selecting other camera press ctrl b now from this this timeline this timeline it will be on the first camera and this time it will be on the second camera it's that easy and i have a bonus tip for you if you press n and go to view there's a beautiful option called camera to view which will match your viewport the camera so you can change your camera as you change your viewport and you can right click and assign shortcut to it which i normally use is ctrl shift a so whenever i use ctrl shift a while on the camera i can use camera to view so my view is camera otherwise i use the same shortcut to disable it and enable it well, now my camera is on the viewport and ctrl shift and my camera is not on the viewport there was a bonus tip and if you want a professional like me to do your work hit me up on instagram I, I'll do 2D, 3D work and profit design professionally. And that's all for today's video. I'm also thinking about making a video, same video in Hindi. Let me know if you are interested in that, that part. And that's all for today's video.